Hello everyone, welcome to the fully synthetic cold pour test uh, we're going to perform here. Uh, just a explanation here, I've, I've always wondered um, how well synthetics pour. You always heard that um, synthetic oils are the oil to get in the winter time because they pour better, they flow better um, in the winter compared to conventional oil. But I never really saw much, you know, if you look on YouTube, there are a few that showed some comparisons, um, but not a good variety of oils. Uh, so I wanted to try to test a wide variety of oils and even uh, more than one oil within each brand and see how they turn out. So in here we have uh, Mobile One, Mobile One Extended Performance, Castrol, Castrol Extended Performance, Pennzoil Platinum and Pennzoil Ultra Platinum, Amsoil Signature Series, Royal Purple, and Formula One Synthetic Oil. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with Formula One, uh, probably Americans, the uh, Formula One Synthetic is from a Canadian company called Canadian Tire. And uh, in Canada, it's quite a large company. They basically go from coast to coast, right from Vancouver Island all the way to the east coast in Newfoundland. And they've been around since like the 1920s, been here a long time. They're, they're about as Canadian as hockey, so that should give you some kind of idea. Anyways, uh, so they carry uh, Moto Masters, their brand for various oils and, and uh, accessories and components for cars. And I wanted to include that because this is Canada and... Uh, I wanted to see how a Canadian oil performed. Although I did kind of see online, somebody's mentioning the Formula One is made by Shell, but not for sure. Not for sure about that. So anyways, uh, here's the test I performed uh, outside, uh, right where I work actually. And uh, the thermometer there reads very well, minus 20 degrees Celsius, uh, which is about minus two degrees Fahrenheit. And I was also checking the temperature of the oil there, just to make sure it was also at the temperature of the outside, uh, minus 19 there, so yeah. And this test, uh, there, I did see another test online that did test a few of them, but they used the bottles that the oil came in, and I didn't think that was the proper way to do it. So here I just, every jar here is the exact same type of jar. so. That eliminates any possibility of uh, an inaccurate test because of a different size jar or whatever. All of them were filled to the same level. And as you can see here, there is a bit of a difference between them. Kind of like watching a horse race a little bit. Um, definitely looks like the, the best flowing one there is the Pennzoil Platinum and Ultra Platinum followed pretty close by the mobile mobile one and mobile one extended performance and uh, also the Amsoil did pretty good there and our Canadian brand the Formula One Motomaster also did pretty well and it looks like kind of bringing up the rear there is uh, Castrol Edge and Edge extended performance and the Royal Purple kind of look like they're the slowest pouring one so that's fairly interesting. Um, you know, they're all 5W30 oils, every single one of them. But certainly there is some difference. If I could have done this test at a colder temperature, that would have been you know, maybe a bit better. It does get colder here, maybe around minus 30 degrees, but I you know, didn't didn't know when we'd get the day that cold again so but I thought minus 20 is a pretty good temperature because even you know if you're in the states you know even Minnesota probably gets that's about as cold they probably get there so I think minus 20 is a pretty good pretty good temperature to test at uh, this test here I conducted the next day and it's about the same temperature outside, around minus 20 Celsius. Again, minus 2 Fahrenheit. 
and what I did here was I never did get a chance to test a conventional oil so I took the the fastest flowing oil from the first test and the slowest flowing oil which was the Penzo is the fastest and the uh, Royal Purple is probably the slowest and I wanted to compare that to a conventional oil so again I used a Motomaster oil from Canadian Tire a conventional one this time uh, they're supreme and I uh, thought I'd do the test here again and see how they turn out and kind of watching again you can see that Penzo kind of pulling away but interestingly enough the conventional oil is actually looks like it's kind of neck and neck with the uh, royal purple which that really kind of surprised me you know I you hear over the past few decades you know and especially the past 10 years when synthetic oils really become more popular uh, you know I'm not sure what it's like in the states but here in Canada it's like well you know, you want an oil that performs well in the cold, get a synthetic. And uh, <clears throat> it'll flow better in your engine and cause less wear in cold startups. And that was kind of always the big selling point to get a, a synthetic oil. was a, Here at least is the, the better flow you get uh, on cold startups. Because it stays thinner than conventional. But on this one here, at least with this conventional, uh, man, it, it looks very close. So it's not as good as the Pennzoil, but and or the Mobile, and a few of the other synthetics. But you know, it certainly doesn't seem to be any worse than you know the Royal Purple. And probably if I had the Castro, and there wouldn't be any worse than that, as far as flow goes. But again, this test doesn't speak to other aspects of an oil, which would be important, which is uh, you know the the lubrication capability of the oil or the volatility um, you know how well it works in high temperatures how thin it gets in high temperatures so again this is just one aspect aspect of a motor oil and that's it so hope you enjoyed it and if you have any other questions about it or comments uh, yeah definitely put a comment below and I'll, uh, I'll comment you back